Hi guys, on today's video I'm going to show you beautiful containers that I got from 1617. I, I think I purchased like five of them, five or six of them. Uh, anyway, they're beautiful shape and the beautiful glass and the beautiful materials. So if you want to see uh, which container I use to make a luxury candle, keep on watching. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So guys, on today's video, I'm gonna have something different. I'm gonna be doing an unboxing. Uh, I ordered uh, from 1617. Uh, I was watching uh, YouTube videos uh, regarding uh, luxury candles and I came across this website. Um, so I bought uh, a few of their, of their uh, vessels because uh, as you know, I'm trying to uh, launch my luxury line for next year, early next year. So I'm gonna be the unboxing uh, right in front of you. Okay, so let me just show you the box, guys. So this is a good sign when they take care of wrapping stuff like this. So again, guys, these are my first impressions. Let me see if you can put your side, you can see my face too. So this is my first impression. Oh my God, look. It's a nice note from them. Thank you, Michael, for ordering. I hope you enjoyed our glass. We got so much more arriving this year, including new waxes this week. Uh, love Vanessa. Vanessa is the, is the lady that was uh, that does the videos for the company. And I'm telling you guys, high end. This is very high end. So this is all the videos that I got. Okay, so I'm so excited. Ta ta! And I also ordered some wigs because I hear uh, I want to try some of the recipes. And I'm going to be using coconut apricot uh, wax which is one of them, uh, the waxes that they sell. So I, I got some CDN two wigs. CDN two wigs, uh, number three and number four. Because this, these are the, uh, the wigs that they recommend for the, uh, the vessel, so. Okay, so this one is number one. Oh my God, I'm so excited. It's like, it's like Christmas. I love opening packages. Okay, so here it is. I mean, it's pretty big. Wow, this is pretty big, guys. Look. Okay, so this is the lid. Oh my God, it's beautiful. It sounds like glass, but look how beautiful it is. It feels very expensive, you know. Wow, so I'm very happy. Okay, now let me see the container. The container feels heavy too, which is a good thing, guys. Okay. Wow, I'm liking the thickness of the glass. Oh, wow. Oh my God, look at this. Oh my God, the color and the size. Oh my God, look how beautiful. It's like a jewel, it's like an emerald stone. Wow, this feels very expensive, guys. Oh my God, what a beautiful. Look at this. Now this is what I call a luxury candle, darling. Beautiful. Yes, I'm so happy. Okay, so let me put this on the side. Wow, I'm so excited. Okay, and that was the first one. Plenty more. Okay, the second one. Another beautiful lid. Beautiful. Oh my God, this one is a red one. Yes. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Wow! Oh my God. Look at how beautiful this is. It's heavy. I mean, this is gonna cost a fortune to ship. That's the only thing. But you know what, guys? This looks like very, lu very luxurious, very high-end. 
Get what you pay for, darling. Yes, that's why I'd rather pay a little bit more, but my candles are gonna be top notch. Oh my god, look at this. Look at the detail on this. Oh my god, I cannot wait to see the, the bottom of this. It's like Christmas, guys. Oh my god, the detail. Look at the detail. Do you see the all the ridges in there? Oh my god. Beautiful. Yes! Come on, high end candle. Yes! We love it! We love it. And you know what? To label this, you just put a, a tiny bit piece of ribbon uh, with your label hanging from here. Perfect. Beautiful. Yes! I'm impressed. Yes! And I'm very hard to impress, but so far I'm very impressed. Very impressed. Okay, this is another one. Oh my god, this one comes. The packaging, guys. The packaging is so. <gasps> oh my god, look at this. Beautiful ceramic and silver inside. Very heavy. Beautiful. Yes! Oh my god. It's gonna be great when you put, I'm gonna have to use uh, three wicks in, uh, in here and the lights are gonna reflect all around the metal. Oh my god, I cannot wait to make this one. I'm gonna make this one today, okay? So we're gonna continue the video. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna use this one. This is my favorite, I love it. Beautiful. Shipping. I mean, this ship, like in a, in a den. Okay, so this is another old top. Beautiful. Like amethyst. This is just the color of my, my stone. Oh my God, look at this. Look how beautiful. Yes. Again, very high end feeling. Look at this. Great. I'm very happy, I'm telling you, I'm very surprised. And I was gonna order more of the white one and the metallic in the center, but I just decided, you know what, let me just get one of each so I can decide whether I like it or not, and then I'll, I'll order more. This is like a teal blue. Beautiful. Wow. Oh my God, these are gorgeous. Yes! I'm gonna put them on top of the, of the grill that I have in there and I'm gonna make a group shot and I'll bring her back, okay? Yes! Okay, so remember guys, yesterday I, I made the, I made the video and I had to take, um, professional looking photographs using stuff in your closet. So I'm gonna use the same uh, principle, to, uh, principle today, uh, which is I'm gonna be using my robe that I showed you yesterday, uh, because I wanna take the pictures of those uh, vases. And being that they are, uh, let me show you. So being that they are the, uh, this color dark, if I put them on this, on this uh, background here, which is blue, dark blue, uh, it, they're not gonna pop. They're all gonna do, they're all gonna do, uh, they are all gonna look dark. You see? Because this, uh, this is dark, this is uh, dark blue. And that's my, um, that's the grill that, the grill that I use to, uh, to warm up the, the vessels. So this is what I'm gonna do, guys. Again, you have to think about these things, uh, Beforehand, is that myself, I like to plan 
the way I'm gonna do things, you know, and what are the options that I have, you know, and so I'm gonna be using this, the beautiful material. And again, I'm gonna be using the back, so I'm gonna put the back in here. I'm gonna lay it down. So I'm gonna lay it down so against the wall, so I have like a surface uh, to look very luxurious. Let me just put my glasses on. Just play with it, guys, and then just start placing the items in here. Okay, if I feel that they need to be taller, I can put a box underneath. So let me just put that underneath. So I can start creating layers, you know. And this time it's better because I'm using artificial light, so. Okay, so let me just move the light that I have in here in the back. Closer. Okay, so I'm gonna take, guys, I'm gonna take a few shots um, with this vessel. You know what, let me just take this off because this isn't gonna work out. I can see already that it's too much. So let's, let's start simple and then we build from there, okay guys? So let me just take a picture of this with the lid and let's try to put some texture in here and if I need to put uh, an elevator to the side like this I can always use, you know, just, just think of stuff, you know, you just put something to prep in here up like this you can put a piece of, uh, just put it underneath Just play with it, you know, and just. Okay, so let me take a few pictures. Okay, guys, so let me show, let me just show you something. Uh, also, that came up on yesterday's video on how to. Uh, so something that came up in yesterday's video that I, want, I, ju I just want to show you. Um, this works in uh, artificial light, the same. Okay, so I have in here the crystal vessel that I got from 1617. And uh, let me show you guys. And uh, let me just... Okay, so I was taking pictures of this. Uh, but look, it's, it gets lost in the background because the background is uh, too dark, I mean too light. You see this beautiful vessel in here? So I'm taking pictures of with this background, but it disappeared because it's 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 transparent, you know? And it's a pity that the pictures are not gonna come out nice. And I took a few pictures I'm gonna show and I'm gonna show them to you in this video too. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do now. Okay, so I'm gonna put this aside. And remember yesterday I told you that I had like a tablecloth uh, made of a velvet that I bought in New York City. So here it is back. So I'm just gonna put this on top. On top of the, on top of the row, and because I want to give the background more interest, being that I'm using this uh, transparent uh, vessel, I'm just gonna play with the ruffles again, guys. And I'm gonna take the bo this box. I'm gonna put it underneath because I want to give this height. And let's start playing with this again. So remember, guys, you know it's. Just find whatever you need uh, in your closet or anywhere else and look how beautiful this looks. You see? Now you see the contrast on the vessel. So let's take a few pictures, okay? Yes! And don't forget to use the filters from your camera to enhance the color, okay? Okay, let me just take a few pictures. Yes! Look at the beautiful the light, okay? And I'm using the filters also, but look how beautiful. I mean, I, I took pictures with the, uh, with the top on the side like this. You know, that's this kind of material, vel velvet is your best friend when you have something clear like this, because you can see all the details. Look at how beautiful the details in the center, in there. I mean, this looks very expensive. And let me just uh, pull back so you can see what I have. Look, and this is what it is. I just gathered all the material in here, guys. And look, 
It's so easy to, to do. You can do this with a towel, you can do this with a, with a rope, like I told you. And now I'm gonna take the other vessel, the white one, and I'm gonna do the same thing too. Because the white one is not gonna translate also uh, with, the, uh, with the rope that I have. So I'm gonna take this one here. Beautiful, look at this. Look at how beautiful the metallic is. Look at how, look at how great that looks. Okay, so I'm, let me just put it on the side. I think I like it on the side like this better. So let me just take a few, a few pictures, okay? guys we're back so i'm done taking pictures of this uh, beautiful vessel in here so just look guys i just tried placing it on different um, let me just turn i was playing with the vessel and just being that it has different uh surfaces that you can just just play like we're putting it in an angle like this uh and just take a few a few shots uh, it, is, it, it doesn't work to put up here because it's too close to here. So just use this as something to uh, Nancor, you know, so, and then just play with it. I took the most beautiful pictures, guys, and I'm gonna put them in here so you're gonna see them. Uh, again, uh, this is and this is the, the basic without being being candles. These are just be, uh, vessels that I'm, that I'm showing you. And I'm telling you guys, these pictures are gonna sell like, uh, the, the pictures I'm taking are gonna sell the candle in no time. Uh, I'm gonna ask you guys, to send me uh, your best recipes using cocoa, uh, coconut and apricot uh, wax or any kind of a uh, blend of coconut and paraffin or so just put, put it down on, in the comment below, okay? So let me just, let me just put everything away guys and I'll be right back. But before I put everything away guys, I just wanna, uh, I just wanna tell you, okay, so I'm thinking like, uh, I'm gonna take uh, the recipe that 1617 has on the website I'm gonna have to use a coconut apricot uh, candle using this vessel, and uh, uh, they, I believe, they used uh, three uh, three weeks to put in here. So I'm gonna print out the recipe from uh, Vanessa. Hi, Vanessa. Uh, so I'm gonna print out the, the recipe that Vanessa gives us for free on the website, and I'm gonna follow it to the teeth. And let's see how this beautiful luxury candle comes out. Okay? Yes. Okay, guys, we're back. So let me just move this stuff around here because I need to. Uh, so I'm getting ready to make the candle and I'm gonna be using this vessel uh, which is uh, it's, it's gonna take uh, 12 ounces of uh, wax so I need to figure out the amount of uh, fragrance oil that I'm gonna use I'm gonna be using uh, 10% okay so I got this this oil I got this honeysuckle jasmine let me see how this one oh my god this one is really nice this one is really, really nice. By itself, I think it's gonna be a hit. Okay, I have another one here. I uh, got sea salt and orchid. Very nice too. But not, this is for the summer, not for now. Sea mist. This is pure summer. Oh my God, Lisa, you're gonna love this one. Day at the spa. Why not? Wow. It smells very relaxing. So let me just leave it in here too. High tide. This smells like summer scents. Oh my God, this one is so nice. I'm gonna try high tie and the other spa together. In the meantime, let me try Magnolia and Peony. Peony. Oh my God, this is the perfect spring scent. Perfect for spring. So I'm gonna leave it outside. And then I have white sage and lavender. I think this one's gonna be great with a a day at the spa. Let's see. Oh my god, this one. This is amazing. You know what, guys? I think I'm gonna do this one by itself. 
Okay, let me just put the let me just put the rest away, and I'm gonna try the other spa and white sage and lavender. I'm gonna go to the candle science website and I'm gonna look at the notes because I wanna see what kind of notes are they similar or are they different. So it's a good idea to do this. Uh, um, I learned from now on that way you don't have a note that is crashing um, on top of the other one. Like for example, I don't wanna have, I don't wanna put two of the same uh, fragrance oils if they have similar notes because you're like overkilling it. Okay, so let me just uh, put the oils away and. Start the computer and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, to find out uh, what kind of wig I'm gonna be using. I know I wanna use three of them. Um, unfortunately, the wigs that they are uh, suggesting, they're sold out, so I'm gonna have to find something else. So let's see. I'm, first I wanna measure the diameter of this. Uh, it's four inches, four inches diameter. So definitely this is what I need. Uh, three weeks okay so what kind of chemicals are in here so I'm just gonna take some alcohol and I'm just gonna wipe it clean okay I want to make sure that there's no grease that there's nothing uh, no pollutants or anything and I think alcohol is the best thing to take out the grease and just anything any dust and I'm just gonna also pack the outside I love the shape of this vessel. The shape, the painting on there. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the website and find out what's, uh, what's the best uh, option for a week that I can have, okay? So the, the website, I'm gonna link the website below also, guys. So you know uh, where to get this. The more you order, the more uh, this can you get. So today is October 8th. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the calculator and let me just use the calculator and be right back. Okay guys, welcome back. So I got all the numbers. So for this container, the container itself, it can hold up to 14 ounces of water. Of, um, yeah, 14 ounces of water, liquid water. So, so anyway, so I'm, the beauty of this container is that you want to be able to show the metal in here inside so you don't want to fill it up all the way to the rim so i want to have some space so they're recommending um on, on the website vanessa is recommending to use 10.9 10 10.9 ounces of wax and 1.3 ounces of uh, fragrance oil so that's going to make a total of uh of 12 ounces okay so let's start getting ready guys. okay guys so i got it so i went back to the uh 1617 website and they recommend for uh, so for waxes that are based coconut apricot to triple week with uh, CDN 2, 3 and 4 I'm gonna use 3 CDN 4 weeks so let me just put it in here I'm so glad that I found the answer to the week size because I, I didn't want to go blind you know and just put something just for the sake of putting something. I mean, it's a pity that I pay so much money for this for this container and just use the wrong wig. I mean, I'm not saying that this is gonna be the perfect size, but at least I'm following a guideline. I think that's very important for you guys. Okay, so let's see, let me get my uh, my straw because that's what I like to use. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best. I know it's not gonna be perfect, but you know what? Nobody's perfect, we can just take it out and just put another one. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make a triangle. So I'm gonna use the shape of the polygon inside, or the pentagon. I mean. Now, how I'm gonna uh, secure them in place? I love this cuticle uh, wooden, you know. And just I'm just gonna take these two and I just put them in here. It must, it's very important guys, that this stays secure because you don't want this moving. Okay. Okay. The worst is over. So okay, guys. So let me just get uh, the wax ready, and I'll be right back. Yes. Oh, before that, I'm gonna select the. Uh, let me get the. Uh, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take it to the color bar so we can do, test out the fragrance oils. Okay. So let's go to the color bar. So okay, guys. So like I told you, I clean up first. Here we 
everything has to be super clean. You don't want any surprises, any contamination of any kind. The same with the scale. Okay, great. Okay, so I said we're gonna taste this too. Try this too. So I'm gonna take some uh, fragrance. From Candle Science, they're both from Candle Science, guys. White Sage and Lavender. And they are the spa. You know, it's good to have something like this relaxing, you know, in your arsenal. Especially now that we're living through the tough times, you know, and there's so many bad things happening. So we have to just do the best we can for ourselves and just take care of ourselves. If we don't take care of yourself, darling, nobody's gonna do it for you. Oh my god, this is excellent. Okay, let me try this one, white sage and lavender. Let's try the two of them together. Do they work? Oh my god, this is excellent. My goodness. Okay, I wanna go into the website and wanna see the notes because this combination is amazing. White sage and lavender is a campo, camphoraceous blend of herbs, lavender and, and aromatic woods. Sage, rosemary and chamomile awaken the earthiness of the lavender, while hints of sandalwood and cedar in the base are reinforced by clove, lavender and cedarwood essential oils. My god, this is beautiful. This essential herbal scent summons an apothecary, apothe ap apothecary atmosphere when using candles, wax melts, and reed diffusers. Okay, the top knob, the top knob is lavender. Just put it here. Our sage and lavender. Top note. It's uh, lavender, middle notes, camphor, chamomile, sage, and rosemary. Okay, beautiful, I love it. Okay, and the other one, what's the other one's name? Dea de Spa. Dea de Spa is a calming and balanced fragrance that combines notes of lemongrass and black currants with hints of patchouli and sugarcane. Oh my god, this is made in heaven. Uh, it's a great year round fragrance that fits well in an aromatherapy line. This fragrance is infused with the natural essential oils, including lemongrass, patchouli, and lime. I'm telling you, that's why I, I knew that this was out of this world. Top note, lemongrass. Let me just put it in here. Lemongrass, lime on lemon. Middle notes, jasmine, yes! Jasmine, sugar, black currant. And the base notes, patchouli and powder. Okay, now the question is, should I combine them or should I just do one or the other? Okay, I think, I think this works great together, you know what, guys? Because uh, White Sage and Lavender and the other, the other spa tends to be a little bit sweet, which I'm not too crazy about, but this counteracts the sweetness and brings it to another level. So I think equal parts of these two are gonna be out of this world, okay? So let's do it. Yes! Let's do this, darling. I love this combination. Let's go back to the color bar. Okay, guys, so I'm starting the, the double boiler. Um, while well, I measure the fragrance oils and the wax, I just wanna get that going. And I'm having difficulty getting uh, HT in everything that I'm doing. I don't know why, so but bar is like a miracle. Okay, so let's see. I need 10.9 ounces, yes. Always double check, guys. There's nothing more than using, than like going to use a, a tool and it's dirty from the last time you used it. So I'm using bar. Okay, And let's see how... I'm just gonna do it by eye, guys, and I'm just gonna do half a teaspoon. Okay. 
I just want to make sure that I get good at heat throw because nothing that I do is it's giving me what I'm looking for. You know, and if somebody's gonna be paying me a lot of money for a candle, I better deliver. There's no time for to be cutting corners, darling. Okay, so this is the wax in here. Let me just put it in the double boiler. Something that I'm gonna show you in a little while. Let me just. Okay, so I'm gonna take this glass container to to make sure the oil. Okay, so I need 1.3 ounces of fragrance uh, oil for this piece of fish. And guys, I'm gonna show you the, the trick. I go like this and there's no spill in here. This trick that I learned is amazing. Okay, so let me see now. I need to check how hot this needs to get. Okay, I'll be right back. Place the fish inside the saucepan to around medium high and let it sit until fully melted. For cocoa apricot cream, you want to heat the, the wax to around 190 degrees Fahrenheit, 87 Celsius, before removing it from the pan to heat the wax all the way to 190 degrees. To make sure the wax is fully melted and it also helps burn off any impurities and moisture that could be in the wax. While the wax melts, you can continue to the next couple of steps, adding color and measuring oil while the wax gets to 190 degrees. Okay, so let me just put these papers aside because I wanna put the candle in here so you can see guys. See how beautiful it looks guys. The wicks are perfect. You can see where the action is happening. So let me just put in here on my notes. Remember, always put everything on your notes. Heat the wax. I didn't call it too early. It can cause to darken the, the wax and you won't be able to see if it's fully, uh, if it's fully, how do you call it, mixed together. Measuring the oil, a little that. Once the, the wax has reached the temperature of 190 degrees, Right now it's 150. You can add your fragrance oil anywhere from 185 to 175. 175. Perfect. Add the oil and stir together. Combine for two minutes. To make sure the oil binds very well with this, with the wax. Then pour in the wax. Once you, you stir it for a minute or two, you will pour the wax into the three yards. Most containers, okay. So around 170, okay. Pick up the heat. I'm gonna leave the water there. I'll put it here for you. You can see. Remember, we're pouring. Okay, this looks to me like it's on 89. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the fragrance oil and I'm gonna stir for two minutes. Just at 180. Yes. See, you can see this. I don't want to make any bubbles, so I'm just being very slowly. But you have to make sure that everything blends. 171. Okay, guys, I'm gonna pour. Here we go. It's all or nothing. Beautiful. Okay, so guys, I wanna make this candle to be super, super, super luxurious. And for that, I'm gonna show you what I got in here. This is gonna be the first time that I tried doing this. Uh, but again, uh, it's gonna make a candle luxurious. So let me just pull you down so you can see. Ta-ta, what I'm gonna put in the candles. And for this, you have to wait until it gets solid on top. Because I'm gonna be adding some some stones, look at these beautiful guys. I got this shipment from Trifecta, trifectabotanicals.com. I'm gonna uh, link, link this company below. I mean, look at how beautiful the different stones I have in here. Like I have different colors, you know, that you can add. Look at how beautiful the purple in here. Citrine. Aquamarine, you know, it, it has, I have so many options, guys. And, and I wanna try to put a, now this one is a clear quartz. This one could be beautiful too. 
or this pink one in here, rose quartz. So I think it's gonna be beautiful. Uh, let me see if I can just take out the wigs. I mean the the wig holder. Okay. Uh, it's not there yet, and I don't want to put it on the fridge or anything like that. And I just want to get very solid before I start putting the uh, the rocks. Uh, so what I'm gonna be doing now is I'm gonna be putting them by hand. This is the perfect consistency to add uh, this these kind of pieces like this because it's not too hard. So I'm gonna do this now before. I'm just gonna put a few rocks, you know, on the side to give it a special touch, you know. Because what I wanna do is I, I want them I want to be able to like uh, how you call it um, sink down a little bit into the wax, and I'm only gonna use pink guys because. This, this is more. You know, you already have the luxury of the of the metal uh, painting on the sides, and by you putting this this touch, it's gonna make a huge difference. So yeah, so I'm just gonna leave it like this. If I feel like I need more, I'm gonna wait for them to solidify more. I don't wanna move the wigs at all. I'm just gonna let me just see if you can. See a little bit of it. Again, I'm gonna take pictures and I'm just gonna post them on, uh, at the end of the video, guys. So I don't wanna put another color. I'm, I'm gonna put a little bit of the clear ones. You see? And the good thing about this, guys, is that this is non-flammable. You know, uh, like I, I also purchased some dry flowers and stuff like that, but I heard so many horror stories, people like burning, per, uh, Houses, you know, it's too many accidents, so it's too much liability for you. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna put in, guys. Look at this, less is more, and look at how beautiful it looks. I'm gonna take a few pictures and I'm gonna put them on the on the video. Uh, this is an Etsy shop that I found. I'm telling you, Trifecta Botanicals. Beautiful stuff. She has she sells this and she sells many 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 other the, the items. Okay guys, let me just let me just take a few shots, okay? Hey guys, so uh, that's gonna be it for me to, for today. Again, um, I wanna thank all you my, my new subscribers and give me suggestions of videos that you want me to make for you guys. If I miss something that I should uh, add. To this video just let me know and stay tuned because i'm gonna be showing pictures afterwards okay guys so until the next video guys take care of each other and bye yes